So these carbon block filters sound pretty amazing, but how do they work? And how can they take chemicals out but leave minerals in? It has to do with the activated carbon and how it's packed. Activated carbon is packed like a sponge. It has lots of burrows and holes for chemicals to sit in. Think of it like a local shopping centre. There are lots of parking spots and all different sizes of cars. The little hatchbacks are the smaller chemicals. This is chlorine. And the semi-trailer, think of them as the lead and triholomethanes. Okay, that makes sense. So, so as the water comes through the filters, or the cars come into the car park, they find a place to park. But as, as more cars come into the car park, the supply of parks start to run out. But the little hatchbacks can still sneak into those tricky spots. That's why even though the filters can be full and the larger chemicals can start to bypass the filters, the chlorine can still find a spot to stick. The carbon filter is like a chlorine magnet. It loves it. The chlorine is negativity charged and the carbon is uncharged. The chlorine would rather attach to the carbon than stay in the water. It's a match made in heaven. Chlorine is one of those chemicals that you can see, taste and smell. You know, the swimming pool smell and taste. That's why the water may still taste okay. Minerals, on the other hand, do not have any charge. This means they are not attracted to the carbon, so they stay in the water, which means good stuff stays in and bad stuff stays out. Well, that's okay. They're good for us. I don't mind drinking those. <laughs> the filters we use at PuraTap are 0.45 of a micron. This means it can filter out anything bigger than that. That's less than a thousandth of a millimetre.